This particular equipment is unique in British Columbia. It's probably unique in Western Canada. There are other institutions, other research labs that have similar types of equipment, but there is none yet that can go to such high resolution. The other unique part of our research here is that we're using tomography to look at material science and to look at how materials can be processed and how we can use the 3D structure to improve processing. So this instrument provides us with a unique ability to image materials in ways we couldn't have done before. So we're able to see the intrinsic structure in all three directions. And so that allows us to look at the variations in material structure, that allows us to look at the variations in defects, and that allows us to see see things in ways we could never do before. What we're really using the technology to do is to understand how defects in materials are linked back to process or how the structure is linked to material properties. Right now we design the wheel of a car for a specific strength. If we know what the variability in material properties is, and if we know how that links back to the process, we could then change our understanding of strength so that we could design the wheel to have different strengths in different parts of the wheel. And then we could reduce the amount of material needed to uh, reduce the overall weight. For me, the most interesting aspect of this research is the idea that we can actually take the 3D structure that we get from tomography, and then we can use that structure to create realistic simulations of how materials actually behave. The technology that we have here has been really embraced by industry. They're very interested in understanding what the 3D structure is, in terms of gaining new insight into the process that is used to manufacture materials and in terms of gaining insight into defects. The future of this research is in two areas. The first area is in increasing speed. Right now it takes anywhere from 10 to about 40 hours to create a 3D picture. And the second area is to image experiments as they're happening in 3D, in what is called in-situ or real-time tomography.